This is going to be another fairly short video because I just want to talk about comparison operators, logical operators, and assignment operators. Now the assignment operator you've already used, and if I go across to Visual Studio Code, you can see here when we put something equal to something, that's an assignment operator. What we're saying is that this variable here will be equal to this string. Now, when we talk about comparison operators and logical operators, that's something else, but it looks fairly similar. Just let me zoom in here a little bit, make it a little bit clearer. If we want to test if one variable is equal to another, some students confuse it and just say A equals B. But we have to put a double equals. And the way I like to think about it, I usually say A is equal to and I say equal to, and I do two things, and I reinforce that in the classroom, equal to, and equal, and two of them. So if we're testing if something is equal to something else, it's equal to, and try and remember that, and that will avoid a lot of confusion and errors later in the course. You sometimes might see a triple equals, and that means is A identical to B? So it has the same value, but they're of the same type. They're both integers, for example. Another one you'll be using quite a lot is not equal. And the not operator is the exclamation mark. So is A is not equal to B. So we'll use this one a lot, and we'll be using this one a lot throughout this course. By all means, have a read through the others. We tend not to use those as much, we'll probably use less than or equals to when we go through our loops. But other than that, we tend not to use the others as much. Now, the other ones I want to look at are called logical operators. And there's two specifically that we'll use throughout this course. And it's these two here, these two bottom ones, and an or. So what we're saying is, if this variable here is true, and this variable here is true, then we're going to do something. And the other one we'll use is if A is true or the double pipe, B is true, then we'll do something. So for this one, they both have to be true. For this one, either of them can be true. Now, these probably don't make much sense at this stage, but in the next lesson, that's when we're going to start using them. We do need a little bit more functionality and once we've got that, then we can embed this in there and then it will start to make a lot more sense. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.